I think it's like seven or eight home repairs we should all be doing now. What's number one, Amy? Think about cleaning your gutters. Uh, cleaning and repairing your gutters is going to save you a lot of money down the road. If water is pooling, you know, near your foundation, uh, that can cause a huge costly problem for you down the road. So you want to make sure that, you know, before the heavy spring rains, get those cleaned and addressed. Yep, absolutely. The water can back up, up those gutters into the roof, up sometimes even under your shingles. I've cleaned mine. I've been on the roof. The other thing I did when I was on the roof was I checked the roof. Is this a good, I mean, I was looking for leaks and things like that around the shingles. Is that a good idea, I assume? Absolutely. After the winter, you know, you know, it's been a mild winter for a lot of people, but still, it's a good time to check your, your roof. If there's any um, broken shingles, you know, those can be easily repaired. And it's not very costly to have somebody come out and, and just take a look and, and see, uh, you know, that everything's okay. You know, and maybe it'll be time to replace your roof, I, I guess, in, in some cases. But a lot of times you can just kind of maintain what you have. Now, a lot of people worry about their roofs and their gutters and, and problems with those that they're loose in, in storms. And there are folks in the weather industry predicting that we're going to have some major storms coming into spring, summer months. What else do we need to do, Amy, in, for storm prep? Well, you know, it depends on where you are in the country. Um, if you're in an area where that is prone to high winds, uh, maybe a hurricane area, you might want to think about... Um, getting a reinforced uh, garage door. That's a very vulnerable area to a home. Um, that's something you might want to think of, or, or storm shutters. Some people might want to consider uh, getting a generator for their home if they're living in an area that's prone, prone to um, uh, 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 electricity outages uh, for, for a good amount of time. Uh, absolutely. That's the truth where I live, and I have my generator. I swear by that. Now, the other thing is vents. I mean, a lot of people, they don't think about the vents. They don't remember to clear out the filters, clean out the filters of their air conditioning. But this little tiny thing can actually be very expensive if you don't do it. That's right. That's right. You know, we, I talked with someone who said it's always important to check those soffit vents in, in, in your roof uh, as well. That's going to that's gonna lead to better um, uh, uh, ventilation in your attic. Um, it's going to help you keep uh, heating and cooling costs down. And it's also a great time of year before it gets really hot to get that air conditioner um, uh, serviced. Make sure it's it's there for you when you need it. Now the other thing we're also anxious to do and, and is to grab that, that deck furniture, haul it out on the deck so we can get out there, lay out in the sun, do a little vegetable gardening, whatever it is we do, do some grilling. But the problem is, I mean, our decks take a real beating over the winter and even in the summer months with all that heat beating down. I guess we should be checking those as well. That's right. Give it a good cleaning. Uh, look for any boards that are, are rotting or needs to be replaced because you're right. I mean, you know, it's a place where everybody hangs out for barbecues and parties during the summer and it's best to just get that taken care of uh, right before the, the season hits. And a lot of this is important to do so you actually don't have to file an insurance claim. But on the reverse side, you can get discounts on your insurance if you look into a home security system. And a lot of people don't think about that. Right. Yeah. A home security system or some of the weather related items as well. Check with your insurance carrier. But yeah, for different um, levels of security, you'll, you'll get more um, of a discount. You know, you go from your um, dead lock, deadbolt locks, you know, you'll get maybe a, a discount for, for having one of those up to, you know, a security system that will alert the authorities if there's um, a yeah, burglary or, or fire or go to some sort of control system. And, and, and yeah, insurers will, uh, will look at that and they'll give you a discount on your premium. So it's definitely worthwhile to have that conversation. Now, Amy, I had a friend recently who had a horrible disaster in their home because they had a leak in the hose of their washing machine. Now, people don't think about those water hoses, but they can fray, they can leak. Isn't this a good time for people to be looking at those, replacing them, and just checking out all their appliances in general? Absolutely. You're doing your spring cleaning anyway. Check your appliances. Definitely look for like, you know, weak hoses, um, whether it's a washing machine or, or whatever. It, it, people often don't um, know that there's a problem until they have a big problem on their hands. So it, it pays to, to really pay attention to those, those hoses and just uh, how they're holding up these days.